Hey everyone, this is Pranshi Verma. Welcome to the session guys. In today's session, we are going to discuss top 33 foundations of digital forensics multiple choice question and answer for your all competitive examination and regular examination also. Now let's begin the session. First question is a valid definition of digital evidence is option A, B, C, D are given here. Option A, data stored or transmitted using a computer. Option B, information of probative value. Option C, digital data of probative value. And option D, any digital evidence on a computer. Correct answer here is option C, data stored or transmitted using a computer. Digital data of probative value. Okay, correct answer here is option C. Next question, what are the three general categories of computer systems that, that can contain digital evidence? Option A, desktop, laptop and server respectively. Option B, personal computer, internet, mobile, telephone. And option C, hardware, software, networks. Option D, open computer systems, communication systems and embedded systems. Correct answer is option D. So open computer system and co communication systems and third one is embedded systems. They are three general categories of computer systems that can contain digital evidence. Next question. In terms of digital evidence, a hard drive is an example of option A, open computer systems, option B, communication systems, Option C, embedded computer systems and option D, none of the above. Correct answer here is option A, open computer systems. Okay. In terms of digital evidence, a hard drive is an example of open computer systems. Next question. In terms of digital evidence, a mobile telephone is an example of. So correct answer here is option C, embedded computer systems. Okay. Mobile telephone is an example of embedded computer systems. Next question. In terms of digital evidence, a smart card is an example of embedded computer systems. Okay. Mobile telephone and a smart card. They both are examples of embedded computer systems. Okay. Next question. In terms of digital evidence, the internet is an example of communication systems. Option B is correct here. Next question. Computers can be involved in which of the following types of crime? Option A. Homicide and sexual assault. Option B. Computer intrusions and intellectual property theft. Option C. Civil disputes. And option D. All of the above. Correct answer here is option D. Option A, B, C are correct regarding different types of crime. Okay. Next question, a, lo a logo on record tell us that at a specific time, option A, an unknown person logged into the system using the account. Option B, the owner of a specific account logged into the system. Option C, the account, account was used to log into the system. And option D, none of the above. Correct answer here is option C, the account was used to log into the system. A logon record tells us that is at a specific time the account was used to log into the system. Okay. Next question. Cyber trails are advantageous because option A. They are not connected to the physical world. Option B. Nobody can be harmed by crime on the internet. Option C. They are easy to follow. And option D. Offenders who are unaware of them leave behind more clues than they otherwise would have okay so correct answer here is option d cyber trails are advantageous because offenders who are unaware of them leave behind more clues than they otherwise would have okay next question private networks can be a richer source of evidence than the internet because option a they retain data for longer periods of time. Option B, owners of private networks are more cooperative with the law enforcement. 
Option C, private networks contain a higher concentration of digital evidence. And option D, all of the above. Correct answer here is option C, private networks contain a higher concentration of digital evidence. Okay. Private networks can be a richer source of evidence than the internet because private networks contain a higher concentration of digital evidence. Next question. Due to case load and budget constraints, often computer security professionals attempt to limit the damage and clone each investigation as quickly as possible. Which of the following is in which of the following is not a significant drawback of this approach? This is very important question. Focus on it. Listen to me very, very carefully. Option A. Each unreported incident robes attorneys and law enforcement personnel of an opportunity to learn about the basics of computer-related crime. Option B. Responsibility for incident resolution frequently does not reside with the security professionals but with management option c this approach results in under reporting of criminal activity deflating deflating statistics that are used to allocate corporate corporate and government spending on combating computer related crime and option d computer security computer security professionals develop loose Evidence processing habits that can make it more difficult for law enforcement personnel and attorneys to prosecute an offender. Okay. Now, kindly listen to me very carefully. Option B is correct here. And this is responsibility for incident resolution frequently frequently does not reside with the security professionals but the but with management okay due to case load and budget constraints often computer security professionals attempt to limit the damage and clone each investigation as quickly as possible regarding Responsibility for incident resolution frequently does not reside with the security professional but with, but with management. This is not a significant drawback to this approach. Okay, option B is correct here. Next question. The criminological principle which states that when anyone or anything enters a crime scene, he should take something of the scene with him, her, and leave something of himself, herself, herself behind is Option A. Locart's exchange principle. Option B. Differential association theory. Option C. Vicaria's social contract. And Option D. None of the above. Correct answer here is Option A. Locart's exchange principle. Because... The criminological principle which states that, this is very important question, when anyone or anything enters a crime scene, he or she takes something of the scene with him, her, and leaves something or himself, herself behind is called Locard's exchange principle. Okay, next question. The author of a series of threatening emails consistently uses I am instead of I am. Okay. This is differ for this I am. This is an example of option A, an individual characteristic. Option B, an incidental characteristic. Option C, a class characteristic. Option D, an determinate characteristic. Correct answer here is option A and individual characteristics. Okay. So the author of a series of threatening emails consistently uses I am instead of I am. This is an example of an individual characteristic. Okay. Next question. Personal computers and networks are often a valuable source of evidence. Those involved with blank space should be comfortable with this technology. Option A criminal investigation. Option B, prosecution. Option C, defense work. And option D, all of the above. Correct answer here is option D, all of the above. Okay. Criminal investigation, prosecution and defense work.
they all are should be comfortable with this technology okay next question an argument for including computers forensic training computer security specialist is option a it provides an additional credential option b it provides them with the tool to conduct their own investigations option c it teaches them when it's time to call in law enforcement and option d none of the above correct answer here is option c it teaches them when it's time to call in law enforcement an argument for including computer forensic training computer security specialist is teaches them when it's time to call in law enforcement okay this is also a very very important question next question the digital evidence are used to establish a credible link between blank space option a attacker and victim and the crime scene option b attacker and the crime scene option c victim and the crime scene and option d attacker and information correct answer here is option a attacker and victim and the crime scene okay the digital evidence are used to establish a credible link between attacker and victim and the crime scene okay next question digital evidences must follow the requirements of the blank space option a ideal evidence rule option b best evidence rule option c exchange rule and option d all of the mentioned correct answer here is option b best evidence rule digital evidence must follow the requirements of the best evidence rule okay next question from the two given statements 1 and 2 select the correct option from a to d okay first statement is original media can be used to carry out digital investigation process and second statement is by default every part of the victim's computer is considered as unreliable okay option a b c d are given here and correct answer is option b a is true and b is false okay in the both statement first statement means statement a original media can be used to carry out digital investigation process this is true but by default every part of the victim's computers is considered as unreliable this is false okay next question the evidence of proof can be obtained from the electronic source is called the option a digital evidence option b demonstrative evidence option c explainable evidence option d substantial evidence correct answer is option a digital evidence the evidences of the evidences or proof can be obtained from the electronic source is called the digital evidence next question which of the following is not a type of volatile evidence option a routing tables option b main memory option c log files option d cache to data okay correct answer here is option c log files log files is not a type of volatile evidence okay next question the evidence must be usable in the court which is called as option a admissible option b authentic option c complete and option d reliable correct answer here is option a admissible okay the evidence must be usable in the code which is called as admissible okay next question photographs videos sounds recordings x rays map drawing graphs charts is a type of option a is correct here illustrative evidence okay so photographs videos sound recordings x rays map drawings graphs charts is a type of illustrative evidence next question email hard drives are examples of option a illustrative evidence option b electronic evidence option c documented evidence option d explainable evidence correct answer here is option b electronic evidence email hard drives are examples of electronic evidence next question blood fingerprints dna these are examples of option d substantial evidence okay next question 
When an incident takes place, a criminal will leave a hint evidence at the scene and remove a hint from the scene which is called as option A, Locard's exchange principle. Okay. Next question, which is not procedure to establish a chain of custody. So, correct answer here is option C. Don't take screenshots of digital evidence contained. Okay. So, don't take screenshots of digital evidence contained is not procedure to establish a chain of custody. Next question, which is not related with digital evidence. So, correct answer here is option A. Work with the original evidence to develop procedures. This is not related with digital evidence. Next question, which is example of non-volatile memory. So, correct one is option A, flash memory. Flash memory is example of non-volatile memory. Next question. Blank space is known as testimonial. So, correct answer is option A. Oath affidavit. Oath affidavit is known as testimonial. And this is very important question. Next question. The process of ensuring that providing or obtaining the data that you have collected is similar to that Similar to the data provided or presented in a code is known as option A, evidence validation, option B, relative evidence, option C, best evidence, and option D, illustrative evidence. And correct answer here is option A, evidence validation. The process of ensuring that providing or obtaining the data that you have collected is similar to the data provided or presented in a code is known as evidence validation. Next question. When cases go to trial, your forensics examiner play one of blank space rules. Option A, B, C, D are given here. Correct answer is option A, 2. Okay. When cases go to trial, your forensics examiner play one of two roles. Okay. Next question. Type of digital evidence is picture and video. Okay. Next question. Rule of evidence is also known as law of evidence option c is correct here okay guys now let's wind up the session see you in the next lecture please share this video with your friends wish you very very all the best for examination make sure to subscribe to my channel for more updates thanks for watching bye bye